to Happy Halloween, live on the Wendy Williams Show. Then it's time for Hot Topics. As you can see, I'm dressed as the iconic Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Some people call her Lady Liberty. I wear, I wear a size eight, uh, 879 shoe. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Shady cameraman. Um, I have a 30 foot waistline. Yeah, 30 feet. And, and uh, there are 354 steps to, uh, to the crown. So there you have it. Yeah. By the way, I stand on property in Jersey in the Hudson River. However, I face New York. So therefore, I claim both Jersey and New York. Yeah. Thank you. I'll take them. So busy getting dressed, I forget all my jewelry and stuff, you know? Anyway, this Kevin Spacey thing. Oh. Out of control. Do you watch House of Cards? Yeah. Well, it's done. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know whether it was because of him or because they actually were planning on canceling the show. Uh, that's what people are saying now. You know how people backpedal. Anyway, he allegedly made sexual advances towards this 14-year-old actor. You know, we talked about this yesterday, Anthony Rapp. Um, 31 years ago, and um, hours before the news broke, Kevin, uh, um, hours after, rather, uh, they quickly, Netflix canceled House of Cards. Oh. And a few people in my Hot Topics meeting were very disgusted, because they liked the show, and they said, well, why can't they just give him a chance and, you know, and wait for things to come out? I said, what more needs to come out than a 40-something-year-old man talking about what happened to him when he was 14 years old? You know? He, I'm sorry, that's pedophilia. <laughs> you know? And, um, and for that, Kevin does deserve to be stripped of a lot. Like he was supposed to be um, going to the International Emmy Founders Awards and, and collecting one of those as well. They said, nope, you're not invited, no more. And so now the House of Cards is done. In the name of Robin Wright, who is one of the stars on the show as well, I'd be pissed. Yes. I mean, Kevin is also an executive producer on the show, and, and he also does a lot of the, you know, the, the narration, and he's the star. But what are you supposed to say? That's pedophilia. What are you supposed to do? So as opposed to letting this drag out, you know, till next year to figure out what to do with the show, just stab it in the heart real quick and, and so there's no suffering. And that was one of Netflix's highest uh, watched shows. Yes. Yeah. Chelsea's show, um, you know, she said she quit. This Chelsea Handler. She's on Netflix. Yeah, I think she was only there for what, Norm? Like 
seasons. Two se what yeah. the hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. That's a good joke. Um, and perfect costume, by the way. Thank you. In more ways than one. <laughs> anyway, so so Chelsea was there for like three years? <laughs> Two seasons. Two seasons. <laughs> and people weren't watching the way she, th the exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah, and the ratings were low, low, low. Yeah. So, uh -huh. and the word is, is that she heard that they were gonna cancel her, so she quit before they could cancel her. But yeah, so Netflix, um, what, what, what's happening? Anyway, they're considering uh, doing a spin-off show with a couple of the main characters on House of Cards. So maybe Robin Wright won't suffer like that. I think that's a great idea, you know, but I also think that it'll be awkward when Kevin Spacey, because he still has more stuff to tape and he has to go back to the set. How do you look at him? How do you act? Uh, what, what do you do? Exactly. You stay in your trailer and you wait for your scene. Yes. What if you have to kiss him? Oh. Uh, just asking. Oh. Well, House of Cards will air its uh, sixth and final season sometime next year. Oh. Yeah. yeah. This, this show. I love it. I love it. Anyway, so there's something going on at 2300 Jackson Street. Yeah, well, uh, it's time for a Jackson family update. Hit it. So um, apparently, uh, Catherine Jackson has just filed court documents. And mind you, Catherine is 87 years old. And she wants to stop being Blanket's guardian. Whoa. Well, no, they haven't changed his name to John or something like that. No, it's still Blanket. <laughs> and he's 15. So what do you think his buddies call him? Blanky? Anyway, he's 15 and um, Catherine at 87 says she can no longer handle his guardianship. Uh, so uh, her grandson TJ is gonna handle guardianship. Now mind you, TJ has got, he's 39 years old with six kids of his own. And he's married. And the commute uh, from um, wherever um, Blanket and Catherine live, cause they live together right now. It's basically Blanket and a bunch of servants and an 87-year-old grandma, you know, sitting in, in a chair someplace. You can imagine, I'm not saying that in a funny way, I'm saying that in a, 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 a factual way. You know, when you live in a seven-bedroom house with, with servants and, and what do you do? You go to school, you go to karate afterwards, I guess. <laughs> well, no, I heard he's into the martial arts. <laughs> and, then you, and then he comes home and he plays um, games on his thing. So TJ's house, TJ's married, you know, the six kids, uh, they live 40 minutes away from Catherine. You know, when Catherine, when um, Blanket was born, Catherine was 72. So maybe at that, and, and Michael was alive at that time. But when Michael passed away, I think Catherine, you know, I never remember Catherine being well. You know what, you know what I'm saying? Other than when Angela Bassett played her, in the movie. <laughs> but I'm, I'm saying, you know, Catherine, uh, you know, the knees and the joints and, you know, things that happen to people. It's too much for an 87. At 87, would you want to look after a 15 year old? No. 15 year old can run circles around you. And, but then you're going to go live with your uncle who has six kids of his own and they are all sorted in age, you know, like three and 18 and kind of messy. Where is LaToya? <laughs> no, no, really, with all the aunts and uncles in the family, 
where is LaToya? <clears throat> anyway, at 15, you need to be grounded someplace. Now, he can't move to TJ's house because he's in high school now. And don't you want your kid to graduate in the same school system if by chance you can yes. help it? So I guess that'd be a 40 minute commute to high school every morning so he can go back to the old school system where Catherine is. Look, I'm following the story. I'll keep you up to date. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> Co-host, you all look nice. <laughs> Sit down, sir. And Suzanne, um, that's a lot of makeup. Oh, yes, I'm Smurfette. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> and I'm blue. It's crazy. How are you gonna take that off? Well, I'm gonna leave it on because Brendan wants me to go home with it on. Oh, okay. And now what will you do with the sheets afterwards? Uh, no, no, it, this will wash off and then I don't- But it'll wipe off on your pillowcases. Well, uh, mm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a lot of laundry today. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> This is so not my holiday. I'm doing this under <laughs> duress. But as long as I'm going to do it, why not wear a Caesar Galindo? Yeah! Yeah! Great. Great. I love he it. did a great job. Uh -huh. All kind of freaks and weirdos walking around. There's nothing worse than adults in costumes. I gotta tell you, <laughs> if, you're, if you're in New York though, don't miss out on the parade in, that goes down Sixth Avenue. Yeah! To the, You might wanna um, take your medicine before you go, just so you can have a really good time there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Remy Ma is joining forces with Nicki Minaj, enemy. No, Nicki Minaj's enemy, Little Kim. Okay. This is, this is beautiful. Only cause we're watching, we're not apart. Now remember, Remy signed with her new manager, Tamar's husband, Vince, right? And landed a multi-million dollar record deal. And her first uh, track is called, Wake Me Up. It's a diss track to um, Nicki, apparently. And Little Kim is on the song. Ah, 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 ah. Please don't show that man anymore. This, that was very frightening. <laughs> so TMZ caught them filming their video in the Bronx. And, uh, yup. And, and the track is apparently taking aim at Nikki's alleged relationship with my Nas. No. Now I say my Nas, cause Nas, I don't believe this relationship. I, I, I don't believe the relationship. I don't believe, I, it might be a stunt. They, we never see them out anywhere, anywhere. Not that you have to leave the house. I want, I want Nas back with Khalees. Yeah. I, I, I miss those days. There's something about Nikki that's so um, popcorn. No, I don't mean that in a bad way, you know, but from American Idol and the, the products and, you know, the music on the hit parade and the whole, you know, with no real feet in the old school, deep, true, gritty, nitty, hit to the hop, <laughs> DJing and MCing. You know what I mean? Whereas Nas is so cool. He blows the roof off cool to me, in my head, in my head, in my head. I don't really know him like that. Don't want to, I might be disappointed. But, uh, and, and Khalees had that cool vibe too, you know, like, who is she? You don't really know. But if you come for her, she'll get you back. Yeah, I, I miss them. But I feel like, um, 
Nikki does owe both girls another track to clap back at them. And then once uh, um, both songs are done, girls, can we move on? Yeah. yeah, we can move on. Uh, we can move on to Teresa. <laughs> so Teresa, uh, everybody, was um, in Connecticut um, at the uh, Mohegan Sun. And she was there with, uh, with her uh, Jersey housewife castmates. They were doing a panel to discuss, you know, housewives and what's it like to be a celebrity and so on and so forth. And so one of the questions for Teresa was, what has been your worst celebrity encounter? Now you gotta listen close and take a look at what she says. Sophia with our I can't stand her, sorry. I hate to say that because you know, Italian, she's Colombian, she has an accent. She has more of an accent than me. You would think, no, but you would think she would be nice, you know, like she's an immigrant, like, you know. Oh, wait, this is how she wanted to take a picture of me, but she didn't want to take a picture. So I'm here, like I'm standing here, she goes like this to take a picture. And this is what she said to her publicist. Why are you making me take that picture with that woman? Listen, you know, I love that Teresa was so honest with what she said. Sophia, please don't clap back. It is apparent that you watch the Jersey Housewives. So Teresa, you're a star in her house. Be very clear, even though she's the highest paid woman on TV, Sophia Vergara, she does watch Jersey Housewives. If she didn't, then she wouldn't have shaded Teresa. What do you got a problem with Jersey, Sophia? Just saying. Anyway. Um, and, and the shade of taking the picture and stepping in front and everything, how catty. Anyway, uh, Teresa, just know that uh, one of the biggest stars in the world knows exactly who you are. You can sleep well tonight, Teresa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. It's time for Wendy's Tropical Lunch giveaway. Uh, Suzanne? Billy, everybody. How you doing, Billy? Trick or treat, Wendy. Yes, a uh, uh, trick. <laughs> uh, I, like, I like your costume. Let's get today's caller on the line. We're calling Iowa. Her name is Amy. Hello? Amy in Iowa, how you doing? How you doing? Hi, Amy. How are you doing? Yes. Amy, you are today's contestant on Wendy's Tropical Punch Giveaway. I know you watch our show every day, yeah. right? <laughs> Perfect. So you have to pick a number between one and 20, and uh, then we'll tell you uh, what you win. Go ahead. I'm gonna go for number 14. Okay, Billy, go ahead. Drum roll, please. <laughs> to our friends at Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc. We're flying you and a guest on JetBlue Airways to Barbados for a six day, five night stay at Waves Hotel and Spa by Elegant Hotels. This all inclusive resort is located on a stretch of white pristine beach on the platinum west coast of the island. Nestled on a beachside cliff, this eco chic hotel offers a serene spa experience or a high energy oceanfront setting. Plus, for the adventure of a lifetime, you'll get to explore the underwater world during a VIP dive with Atlantis Submarines Barbados. Okay, Amy, this trip could be yours. And you're gonna have 15 seconds to answer this question, okay? All right. All right. Uh, yesterday during Hot Topics, I talked about Cardi B getting engaged to Offset. Yeah. What, what shape is her engagement ring? 15 seconds and go! Her engagement ring is a teardrop or pear shape. Yes, Amy, congratulations. Enjoy your trip. If you wanna be a winner like Amy and Wendy's Tropical Punch giveaway, just log on to my Facebook page to enter and make sure you watch our show every day because every nuance counts, okay? We've got more great show for you today. Dave Mizajewski is here with some spooky animals. But up next, 
friend of the show, Jerry O'Connell is here. So grab a snack.